When I sit in my garden, I see faces everywhere, in the plants, in the bushes and the clouds. Science labels seeing faces like this as pareidolia and describes it as seeing things that aren't there. Personally, I see my pareidolia as an asset in my art making routine. Let's have a party. Hi there, my name is Albert van der Zwart. Welcome to Imperfect Paintings, inspiring you to embrace the magic of making art. In the living room we have this cabinet and to me it looks like a dream. Welcome to my zoo. I see a sad dog. When I flip the image I see a creepy ghost. Here I see a disapproving cat. I can name them all, but my point in art making is, what is right? When my brain can identify faces in anything, why not enjoy the opportunity to create portraits, unusual portraits, perhaps so ugly, weird or unexpected that they require my pareidolia to kick in to label them as a portrait? Since the rise of abstract art, artists created a range of funny, or let's say different looking, portraits in a wide range of recognizability. I just love them. Just for the sake of argument, will these situations count as portraits or not? Let's start the other way around. Here's a photograph of my face. When I cut my ear off, like Vincent van Gogh, try pronouncing the Dutch way for fun, van Gogh. Or keep saying van Gogh when you speak a different language, you'll probably still see me. Now I paint over the different parts of my face while altering the image. A kid can do this. And that's my whole point. What needs my pareidolia to see a face? Here's an interesting question for you. Is this still a portrait of me or only one made by me? Deep down under the paint I'm in there somewhere, remember? Or is this another case of seeing things that aren't there? Let me know in the comments down below. Let's make it a summer holiday challenge. Will you join? Oh, and on August 6, 2023, I will skip one video in my bi-weekly routine. You can send me your artwork on or before August 18, 2023, and the next video will come out on August 20, 2023. All technical details are in the description below the video. Now over to the exercise. I want you to make three portraits or faces. It sounds like much, but it took me in total about 10 to 15 minutes to make all the artwork in this video. The first one is something th similar to what I just did and now do again. It took me under 5 minutes. Take a frontal picture of your face, make a printout on paper, visit a print shop or family in case you don't have a printer at home. Black and white is just fine and paint over it in any way you like. Please don't skip making the print. It's an essential part of the exercise. I don't know how you look like, so any portrait that comes out is okay by me as long as the photograph of your face is completely invisible. What comes out probably will not look like you. One rule, the eyes, nose and mouth must be in place. Have fun and try going over the top in any way you like. Do notice however any internal feelings about you painting over a picture of your face and altering your social media image. The second painting on a flat surface is one made with your favorite art tools, materials or ways of working. What I make is a simple acrylics background and just an example. I also like my liquid watercolor in a squeeze bottle. Whatever you make, I want to see a mouth, a nose, two eyes and parts of the contour line. Maybe you like to try cubism, link up here. Position the face parts in or on a background or surrounding you create. One rule, no computer made things and again have fun. Just use whatever art tools you have available. Now I just make a print on the pre-painted background, while pressing on only three spots. The 
The created print doesn't look like a face, while all the parts are there and in, and in the right spot. Interesting, just testing your pareidolia. The third creation doesn't have to be a painting, it can be anything you create. Perhaps three dimensional? Preferably use unusual material you'll have or find when you walk your dog for instance. What I play with at the moment are these little paint residues. I find them when, op when I open my paint bottles. I collect them for a while, for you never know when and it turned out to be now. Whatever you make is ok. It can be a collage of pieces of wood, plants, food or whatever. Put the pareidolia to the test. Or go where you've never gone before, art wise. And own your weird. One rule, don't use any standard art materials. So no pencils, no crayons, or no paint. I know, wrong example what I do now. No nothing normal. They are already mentioned to have fun. Perhaps an interesting idea to limit yourself to use just 10 items or bring it even back to 5 or 6. Or go the other way and take a 100. Perhaps a mashup? Surprise me. Number 4, the last part is another fun aspect. Go hunting with your camera. Look around and take pictures of moments you think you see faces that aren't there. Send me two or three unexpected ones you love the most. In case this is all new to you or in general, some tips to train your eyes. First of all, look with your heart, not your mind. Open up to the unexpected. Look at the clouds in the sky every day. How about the daily alarm on your phone at 3 pm? I took this picture because of the colors. To find out later, it's also a great example for this video. Last year I took this intriguing picture of my shadow. So in case you have water close by, go there at different times during the day. Who knows what you will find? Last week I took a walk through our neighborhood and after 100 meters I stopped taking pictures. I already saw so many spots. I guess you can put me down anywhere and within a radius of 5 meters I can show you multiple spots. Take up the challenge and perhaps do this whole assignment with your kids or grandchildren. I guess they will love to participate. In case you like to practice to create odd looking portraits just click on the link and I will see you over there in the next video. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day and summer or winter holiday, depending on your spot on our lovely planet.